the father of the Hellcat, the father of the demon, the father of the T-Rex, the father of what we like to call the highest powered engines that SRT and Dodge has ever known. Tim Kaninskitz, he is back, right? The former CEO of Ram and Dodge that you left in May of this year. Yeah, he's back. Since your boy Carlos Tavares uh, dropped out and resigned and left, Tim Kaninskitz, the father of the SRT Hellcat engine as we know it, he's back. The only problem is he's right now just back for Ram, not Dodge or Chrysler or Jeep, just Ram specifically. But either way, your boy's back in the house, and that is a win right there. Let's talk about it. What's up, guys? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes us a house vlog. You know I was going down when I come around. Let's get into it, man. I've got car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car-related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you subscribe so that you can uh, find out what happens next, right? On another episode of uh, Who's Gonna Run Dodge. You know what I mean? Your boy Tim Kaninskitz is back. Let me go ahead and uh, so you guys can see it for yourself so you know your boy's not capping here. Boom. Once again, shout out to Mopar Insiders, man. One day I'm going to meet this guy because I feel like I've I've gotten so many um, uh, scoops and everything from his uh, his blog, his website, MoparInsiders.com. If you want the hottest, immediate, you know, uh, fresh off the press type of news, you need to come here. Uh, Tim Stalent, uh, Skaninskis, uh returns to Stellantis as Ram brand CEO. Stellantis taps Kaninskis to strengthen Ram amid North American challenges. Now, apparently everyone's challenged over in Mopar, uh, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chrysler, everybody's challenged. So we could all use Tim Kaninskis to come in and, and uh, strengthen us. Today's challenge uh, changes will enable us to operate in a structure that would drive the best outcomes for the region, unlock significant potential and win in the market. A main lever, uh, lever is for Ram brand to have its CEO uh, singularly focused on that brand, Stellantis said in the email announcing Kaninskis return. So as of right now, He's strictly Ram, right? He was Dodge and Ram. That is kind of interesting that he's not coming back for Dodge, but specifically Ram. But you got to think about it. This was the guy that brought the T-Rex. He was the one that gave us the Hellcat powered T-Rex. You know what I mean? Uh, this is the guy that gave us the Rebel. You know what I mean? So you can't bring this guy back expecting him to go along with this electric, you know, market shift and push and all this stuff. Since Carlos Tavares, which was the former CEO of uh, Stellantis, has stepped out and resigned at this point, Tim Kaninskitz, which is literally the father of the Hellcat, the father of the Demon, the father of the T-Rex, him coming back is a good sign for SRT. Uh, Ram at the moment specifically, but SRT in general, I think, because nothing about this guy. I mean, you know, having seen what he has done for SRT in the past, I mean, here it is again. Uh, well-known well Stellantis executive Tim Kaninskis is returning to the auto manufacturer, uh, man, man, auto maker, excuse me, effective immediately. So I guess your boy is going to be coming back like ASAP. He retired in May, will once again lead Ram Trucks brand. Uh, no mention of Dodge. His return comes a week after CEO Tavares unexpectedly resigned from the automaker following problems. Um, Kaninskitz is arguably best known for leading Dodge for the most, uh, for most of the last decade or so. He is considered the father of Dodge's high performance Hellcat models and the unofficial spokesman for American muscle cars. So you can't have the quote unquote father of the Hellcat and the unofficial spokesman for, uh, muscle cars pushing this electric, you know, car nonsense, foolishness nine times out of 10. And this is something that I was talking to my homeboy with. At the end of the day, the 2024 and 2025 Charger, as we know it, it's already out. Like, it's already produced and being produced. You know what I mean? The 2025s are already on its way to de dealerships. Like, I can't imagine um, Dodge stopping these cars from hitting dealerships. I can't imagine them, you know, just stop halting production and it's like, trash that, let's come out with Hemi-powered V8s again. Nine times out of ten, for the next year, maybe two, we're just going to have to go through the cycle of the Charger that, you know, they have set forth to produce. But Tim Kaninskis coming back is a good sign, albeit specifically for Ram. You know what I mean? Um, you can't tell me that he's just going to sit back idly and watch Dodge disappear into oblivion or just, you know, bankrupt. Like, you, you can't tell me he's going to sit back and let that happen. So he's got to have some sort of hand in Dodge in the future of the Charger, the Challenger, maybe even bringing something back like a, a Viper 
everybody wants that Viper to come back. Like right now would be the optimum time for a Viper to come back, right? Chevy just dropped that ZR1 that's a thousand horsepower. Ford has always had their 5.0, their GT350, GT500, and now the Super Snake and the GTD. Now would be a perfect time to do for Dodge to drop that Viper, boom. Viper and then give everybody an option for a Hellcat Charger or Hellcat Challenger replacement, something in there. With him taking over Ram, nine times out of 10, that Ram row that just came out that I actually ordered until I you know, woke up and smelled the, uh, the coffee and decided that I was gonna get a T-Rex. That Ram row, it's gotta make its run. Like, you know, like I said, cars have already been built. They're already headed to the dealership. They're already at the dealership. These cars have already just got, they just gotta be sold and they gotta go through their run. But after that, I can see a V8 option coming back to Ram, right? A T-Rex replacement coming back to Ram. They were not definitive in um, stating that the T-Rex would never be seen again, right? And I truly believe that we will see a T-Rex successor replacement, whatever the case may be, especially with Tim coming back. Now, right now, he's got his foot in the door with Ram. I do believe that eventually he's going to, you know, take over Dodge. I would like to see him. I would really like to see Tim as the CEO of Stellantis, period. Jeep, Ram, uh, Dodge, Chrysler, the whole nine. Because Chrysler, it's an understatement to say it's underwater. Like, Chrysler doesn't even exist at this point. All Chrysler has is the Pacifica. If you were to go to Chrysler's website right now and search for cars, all it's going to pull up is the goddamn Pacifica. I, I don't know anybody that's driving a Pacifica. You couldn't pay me to drive a Pacifica straight up and down. You know what I mean? So he's got a lot of work to do, but I can imagine that, you know, having him back in the door means something for the future of Dodge. And it's one thing, like, if you see a V8 come to the Ram, they switch from that inline hurricane bullshit that they're pushing right now with the row. If they switch from that and bring a V8 to Ram, you know that V8 has to trickle down to Dodge, has to trickle down to Chrysler somehow, some way. You can't have a V8 in the Ram and then this inline turbo, twin turbo bullshit that you're pushing in the Charger. So having Tim come back, even as just the Ram boss right now, that means a lot. Because who's in charge of Dodge right now? Who's the Dodge CEO? Am I still recording? Who the fuck is in charge of Dodge right now? It still says Tim Kaninskitz, even though you and I both know that your boy retired in May. Um... Stellantis appointed Matt McClear seat. No, hell no. Fuck him. Like, we don't know who that guy is. So it's got to be Tim. Tim, your boy's got to come back. You know what I mean? They brought Tim Kaninskis back. That means that that's the first step in getting the SRT back to where it was. They really don't have much on it right now. Uh, I don't think he's made an official statement or done an you know, interview or anything like that. Uh, they have stated that a lot of people will be getting switched around. Uh, Larry Dominique, who led Alfa Romeo. Like, nobody cares about Alfa Romeo. Operations in North America, he will depart the company. Now, uh, fuel is headed to that region. So some people have begun moved around. Matt Thompson, who uh, had taken over leading U.S. sales, will report to Comer. Uh, Jeff, Com I'm butchering all these names because I don't care, is overseeing the combined North American retail and commercial sales organization. So a lot of people are getting switched around in this acquisition of bringing uh, Tim back. A lot of people are getting shuffled from the North American region to this region and shit like that. Some people are leaving. Some people are simply getting shifted around. Some people are being brought on for the first time. But the biggest thing is that getting Tim back in the door says something for the future of Ram first and then Dodge and then maybe Stellantis in general. Because you can tell that the reason that he retired as abruptly as he did in May had something to do with the fact that Dodge was switching from the Hemi to this new inline six bullshit. Like you can imagine the powers that be above his head probably sat down with him and was like, listen, Tim, this is the direction that, that Ram is going in, that Dodge is going in. You have no choice but to comply, right? The V8, the Hemi, the Hellcat, the Scat, 392, 57, all that shit, you got to kill it. And you got to kill it next year or this year rather, right? Whether you like it or not, this is the direction that Stellantis is going in. And they kind of forced his hand. And your boy probably sat back and was like, no. Like, this is not why I took over Dodge. This is not why I became the father of the Hellcat, so on and so forth. I want to, I want to build high-performance V8 muscle cars. You feel me? And the fact that they hit him with the, well, you, it's our way or the highway, your boy said peace. And that's why he retired abruptly. Like, you don't retire from something that you built that, you know, uh, such, such a, a illustrious legacy. 
you don't retire just like that. That's some, That's one of those things where it's like, I'm going to give you guys one more year and then I'm out of here type deal. Your boy was like, I'm gone by Friday. So it was, you could tell that he was being forced out. His hand was being forced. You know what I mean? Am I recording? Yeah, his hand was being forced. And now that Dodge is, is doing so terribly or horribly and Carlos Tavares, the former CEO, is out, it's one of those things like you got to come back to what you know, your bread and butter. You got to go back to Tim. You got to go back to the, to the father of the Hellcat, the V8. Bring the Hemi back, bring more powerful cars back, and get back in the chase. Now, the next year or two, we're just going to have to sit on that L. Pause. Right? The 2024, 2025 Charger, it's already been built. It's already been produced. It's probably headed to a dealership near you if it's not already there. There's nothing we can do about that. But the future after that, now we're talking. You know what I mean? So seeing Tim come back is a good thing. Uh, I'll put some of these links in the description. Definitely Mopar Insiders. Um, but, you know, I'm happy. This is a, a step in the right direction, bringing this guy back. The father of the Hellcat, yeah, bring this guy back ASAP. This says a lot. The Hemi should be coming back, man. I don't see why it wouldn't. Spinny Boy Knockout 360. Make sure you subscribe for more comment or more content, excuse me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Your boy's trying to hit 400,000 at some point. I would say by the end of the year, but that's like a month, well, not even a month. That's, uh, you know, a little over 20 plus days right now. So, uh, you know, let's hit that 400,000 mark sooner rather than later, man. Make sure you subscribe for more content. It's been your boy Knockout 360. See you in the next one, man. Peace.